Kelly, and on this episode of Learning the Kitchen, I'm going to show you a super delicious recipe for pasta al forno or baked ziti. Um, now, this was also another request, and uh, I'm really excited to show you this recipe because this is the exactly the same recipe that my mother uses for all of her Sunday dinners or special occasions, and uh, so that her mother. So. It's super simple. It might look a little bit odd to you, but it, trust me, it works. And it doesn't only work, but it just creates the most amazing one pot. Oh, just, just trust me. It's so good. But this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some pre-cooked pasta. Now, I'm using rigatoni. Make sure that any kind of pasta that you use, make sure it's, a, it's like a two pasta and it has lines on it to really adhere to the sauce. Some fresh basil, some chopped soppressade. This is sweet soppressade. Some chopped provolone and this is mozzarella now make sure to use the mozzarella that comes in a uh, vacuum pack and not the fresh mozzarella because the fresh mozzarella is too watery some hard-boiled eggs chopped in little pieces parmigiano reggiano some ricotta homo ricotta and you're also going to need some already made meat sauce now this is a time where you have to use meat sauce you cannot be using marinara, you can't, you have to use the real deal. Now, this is what I, this I made myself, so if you want to make your own and you want to check out a really good recipe, go onto my website at www.laurainthekitchen.com, click on my lasagna recipe, and there is a recipe for meat sauce, and this is a set, the same meat sauce I use for the lasagna. Now, this is going to go really easy. Preheat your oven to 350, first thing you want to do. Second thing you want to do is line just a little bit of sauce at the bottom of your baking dish. Not very much. This doesn't use a lot of sauce because you don't want it to be too watery. Mm, mm, I love that taste. You're gonna put the rest of your sauce in here, leaving some in the pan for me to clean up because I love it so much. And you're gonna put in your sorpresada and your provolone. Now, I'm telling you, this may look a little odd because I'm using sorpresada and provolone some fresh basil, half of the mozzarella. Make it look a little bit odd, but I promise you it works. And we always had hard boiled eggs. Anytime we, we make anything stuffed like a meatloaf or a baked CD or brujol, we always had hard boiled eggs in it. I don't know why, but it just works well. Some Parmesan cheese, about a quarter cup, and some ricotta. Now, not as much ricotta as you would think, because like I said, we don't want this to be really watery. So half of this container. Now with patience and a big wooden spoon, you're gonna go to work. You're gonna mix all of this together. Be patient, but it will come, it will start to loosen up. Almost done here. Make sure you don't break up the pasta either. You don't want to mix it up so much that the pasta is falling apart. And when you do pre-cook the pasta, make sure you cook it to al dente. You still want it to have a bite because it's going to cook in the oven for about 40 minutes. Now, this whole thing goes in here. And as you can see, there's not a lot of sauce, but that's the way pasta al forno should be. And we'll get every last bit in there. Now, this is the crucial part, most important part. Okay, now you're gonna take parmigiano reggiano and you are going to sprinkle it very evenly and generously over the top. This is going to create almost like a crust. It's gonna be fantastic. Mm, yum, delicious. This is going to create the most amazing crust and you're gonna take your other half of the mozzarella and cube it all over the place. Put the little cubes all over. Mm, mm, mm. This is gonna be so good. I'm very excited to eat this. Okay, preheated oven, 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes. You want it nice and, everything's pretty much cooked, so you're really warming everything through, and you want the top to be nice and golden and everything to be bubbling. Mm, can't wait. So, 35 to 40 minutes, keep an eye on it. Look at that. That's exactly what you're looking for. Bubbly, nice and crusty on the top. It's perfect, and the cheese is all ooey gooey. Oh, top it with some fresh basil. 
slice, cut into this when you have your friends over. You don't want to cut it now and then wait around. You want to cut it when everybody's at the table. And you know what? If they're coming in a half an hour, leave it as is, put it back in the oven, but it doesn't even need it because it's going to stay warm and hot for at least a half an hour. But you know, I have to sneak in one. Mmm. It's so gooey. And the pasta still stays nice and al dente. So delicious. Guys, make this recipe. I guarantee it's going to be a new family favorite. You're going to look like a rock star to your friends and family, and you're going to thank me for it. To get this recipe and other recipes, check out my website, www.laurainthekitchen.com. I hope you guys have enjoyed spending time with me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.